Hello everyone. Sonia from Sonia's Quilts and Embroidery. Just some thoughts for the day. I'm writing out some address labels. I got some shipping to do. Today, um, if you ever think about opening up a business and sewing for the public, sewing for, um, you know, customers, first of all, go to the doctor and have your head examined because you're crazy. It is so, especially this time of the year, it is absolutely, extremely um, stressful. And people, most people think that when they ask you to make them something, that you were sitting here wishing you had something to do. They honestly think that as soon as you, as soon as they place that order, that you're going to just get right on it. You know, you ought, to have, you ought to be done by the end of the day. And I've had people to contact me and well, send me a box full of t-shirts in the mail. And they'll sit over in the corner for um, weeks sometimes before I can get to them. And those, I can't even read today. Oh, that's right. And um, they will contact you and say the next week after you get them in and they'll say have you started my quilt yet uh no i haven't even opened your box yet and uh i don't understand you know people you have you know you have two or three hundred people a week contact you and say you got my stuff done yet and nobody knows how much that stresses me out absolutely the most stressful thing is people wanting to know if you're done yet. And you said, no, I'm not done yet. Well, when do you think you're going to be done? Well, I haven't even, I haven't even started on yours yet. I got to, you know, cut it out. I got to do all this. And then you have people that say, um, they'll just drop in, you know, come up here and drop in and say, I just have something. It won't take you but a minute to do it. Had a lady do that a couple of days ago. There's some t-shirts laying right there on top of that tub. I guess three of them. She called me and she's. I just got a little, a little bit of job for you. It won't take you but a minute to do it. And uh, she, I said okay. And she brought it over here and I said just you know lay them over there. I'll get to them when I can. And I know that and I can see the wheels in her head turning, saying, thinking to herself, well it won't take her but a minute to do it. All you got to do, and that's my favorite saying of all times, is all you got to do. No, all I've got to do, she wants the collars removed. She wants the stretchy collar removed. It's just a regular t-shirt. She wants that rib part removed. And she wants me to go back around them and just surge because she can't stand anything too close to her throat. And, uh, you know, all i got to do is get my serger out, which I don't use very often. I've got to put white thread on it to, so it'll match. Each, each one of those shirts will be okay with white thread. I think there's a... A gray one, a blue one, and maybe a pink one. I don't know. And I haven't even looked at them yet. And, you know, and I know she's sitting there thinking, well, let's get on it. Let's, let's get this done. I'll take it home with me. And, I, you know, I just said I'll get to them when I can. I have to get my surgery out, put it on. My, I'll usually sit on my on my big sewing machine here. This, this big sewing machine is a lunch table, a place to set your serger. It's a place to fill out your address labels. It's a place to sew. You can do so much sitting right here at this at this table. This is a this is a multi surface, multi purpose surface. But I've got to get it out. I got to put white thread on all four spools. All got to change the thread all four spools to be white. And then I got to you know take and cut those out and then surge around. It's, it's more to it than anybody would think. I mean. <clears throat> I had a woman about a week ago contact me. I had made her, all of her kids, I don't know if it was last year or year before last, made all of them custom Christmas stockings. Well, her son has moved moved out, moved back in, and he's misplaced his. And uh, she wanted me to remake his. Well, you know, I don't have her phone number. She lives in Jacksonville, Florida. So I sent her a message. And, you know, some more information about, because I actually was asleep. It's a rare occasion, but I was actually asleep 
whenever she um, contacted me. So I contacted her again to get some more information, and she only looks at Facebook about once a year, she said. So, I mean, I'm not going to make that stocking until I hear from her. You know, because with, with shipping, the stocking is $31. And so I'm not going to make it until I hear from her. I can't. I mean, I know about what she wants, but until she pays that $31, I'm not going to custom make, make a custom stocking with a name on it. I'm just not going to do it. And then I made eight teddy bears over the last few days. Here's a pink one. These are out of gowns, pajama tops and bottoms, and like little snap up the front, little house dresses with embroidery. You know, everybody's, everybody's seen those. And I've made eight. Here's an example of three of them. Four of them have already been bagged up, and one more has got to have the little patch put on it. And I've got to make five for another lady, and two for another lady, and one for another lady. i got to make eight more, and I can't find the pattern. Uh, the pattern, I, I make my patterns like that using, um, I don't think I've got it out of the car yet, but I use that thick plastic. It's kind of sticky like. Not, not sticky like a sucker being sticky, but clingy, I guess you'd say. And it's that thick plastic like they use on uh to put over like you've seen people that have these nice dining rooms older people usually and it's got a tablecloth over it and they put that thick plastic over it so you won't harm their table well i use that plastic it's the perfect thing to make the teddy bear patterns out of you take your pattern you lay it under that plastic you draw it off with a sharpie and then you uh cut it out it lays on your fabric real well and you just draw it off and then cut them out. And people said, how much are your memory bears? They're $40. $40? Well, so-and-so only charges 20 Well, you need to take them to them because mine are $40. 40 it, it's, this one don't have his little badge, his little patch on him yet. But you have to get, you have to take the pajamas or the gowns or the house coats, whatever, you have to cut it up, cut them up the seams, lay out, you know, make turn it into fabric by cutting all the seams and cutting, make it smooth. Then you take your, uh, I think it's Palon something 44. It's a very lightweight interface, and you iron that on the back of these whole sheets of pieces of gowns and house coats and pajamas and shirts and whatever, and you iron that on. And then you take those pieces after you've got enough of that. Usually on a, on a man man shirt, I use the I use the back piece from side seam to side seam up to the neck. I use that piece first, and then usually open up a sleeve. And then if the shirt's got a pocket on it, I'll usually do one side of the shirt, and I'll usually try to get that pocket on the little teddy bear. And you have to iron the interface on all those all those pieces. Then you have to sit down and draw off all the pieces. It's 23 for this teddy bear. 23 pieces. Four arm pieces. Five. Nine head pieces. And there's four ear pieces. And then one, two, three across the front of the face. Then two on the back of the head. The body has got four pieces. And the legs have got ten pieces. You got four for the actual legs. And two for the bottom of the feet. 23 pieces. Cut out all the pieces, then sit down and you start putting it together. And once you get it put together, and the hardest part for me is the bottom of the feet, putting a round peg into a square hole, and the neck, putting his head on the body. That is a very small area to sew. Those are just the most, because you've got to catch the arms. you got to make sure you catch the arms and everything when you put the head on. And I've got a little trick that I have come up with to make sure the arms get caught right the first time. And put them all together and then you've got five openings. You have one opening in the back of the body, you have two, one in the back of each arm, and then you have one in the back of each leg. I did so well sewing those up you can't even see it. Anyway, that wasn't a very humbling thing to say. But anyway, um, then you have to stuff it. 
And it takes a lot of stuff. You want this head good and firm. Because if you don't have the head good and firm, the nose won't. Because he's 3D. His little face won't come out. And you have to, I mean, you have, it takes more more stuff in than you would think. One of those big boxes you get at Walmart. Not Walmart. Hobby Lobby. Uh, the premium, um, premium polyester fiber fill. It takes. You can only stuff seven of these bears with one box of that. Then, after you get him stuffed good, you have to sit down and sew up all five holes. So, if you make eight of these, that's forty holes you have to sew up. So, you know, it takes a lot of it takes a lot of time to do these bears, and it, it's insulting when people say forty dollars. Wow, that's a lot. No, it's actually cheap. I don't charge near enough for the stuff that I do, but there's some changes are coming, let me tell you, around here. Um, can I find my teddy bear pattern? I'm very frustrated about that. I went out and bought another pattern, but it's not the same one I'm used to using. So I have to learn how to use another pattern. I may not like it, and I can't use it. I can't make it on one of the, on one of the shirts that's been brought to me because I may not like it. And then I have to... Um, just take a piece of scrap fabric, make the teddy bear, get familiar with the pattern, and then I have to start cut, cutting them out, cutting them out of the shirts. Which this pattern seems to be simp, you know, simpler, but I don't know if I'm gonna like it as well. So we will see. It might make the, it might make the bear worth forty dollars to me to do. And then you have people that you know you want. They want that mem that the little poem on the front. Well, then you'll have, you know, this poem, very simple. I did change this to, it's supposed to say, this is the shirt I used to wear. When you hold it, know that I am there. Love, Nanny. And it, I changed shirt to gown. And I put the Love, Nanny on there. And I put four on the large hoop at one time. It took two hours and 36 minutes to do four of these. And that's doing like 700 stitches per minute. And then uh, the other person that wants five, all of her sayings are different. She wants one of them addressed like, to my little princess so-and-so. And then love, and then she changed some of the wording. And instead of it, when you hold it, it says, when you hold me, know that I am there. And it's love, Paw Paw 2019. So her, you know, some people want to change what you do so much that you're in the hole by the time you get done. So, and, and, and she had, you know, these people, these two guys that bought these eight bears, these brothers out of their mother's stuff, all their patches are just alike. So, you know, you edit it one time, you make eight patches. But this woman won five bears and every patch is different. So you have to edit it five times. So people just carry things too far so far sometimes and there's really not a way of pricing that that you know that if there's a way to do it let me know put in the comment below a suggestion because i mean I have, for these eight bears I had to edit it one time for those five bears I had to five, edit it five times and it's got more stitches in the embroidery because she's got the child's name that it goes to and then it's got 2019 on there and people just push, push, push custom work to the point that you do not make anything off of it. And you're, it's frustrating. And then you get this time of the year when it's really frustrating because you got all, you know, I know exactly what day of the month it is. I know when Christmas is. I know how the, you know, the mail runs and all of that. So you don't have to call me up. You don't have to have 30 people a day. Says, is my stuff done yet? 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 Because if it's done, I put it in the mail. And I'm sick. I don't feel good. My head is hurting. My joints are hurting. And of all things, we never get snow. We hardly ever get any kind of winter weather. Everything is white except the road. It's not sticking to the road. But the, all the roofs are white. The grass is white. The cars are white. Everything is covered in snow. And it's sleeting. It's cold. It's wet. It's nasty. I'm not complaining about the weather, though. It's better than hot weather. I like cool weather. But it, it's just... Uh, I would really like to be on the couch taking me with a quilt and a remote control and uh,
taking me a little nap. But I, because I do not, I, I, I've been trying to outwork this cold, outrun this cold, but it's get, it's gaining on me, it's gaining on me fast. At least it's warm in here. But I can't find my teddy bear pattern. I'm very frustrated with that. I could make that teddy bear pattern with my eyes shut, and I don't know. I've laid it out. I've put it up somewhere where I would know where it was when I needed it, and I don't know where I don't. I don't know where I put it. I have looked everywhere. Uh, I've not looked everywhere because obviously, if I looked everywhere, I would have found it. But I've looked everywhere that I know to look, and I, I absolutely can't find it. So, but anyway, got to run the post office. Got several big packages going today. Over there. Big, I don't even know what's like. Big Hobby Lobby sack. But up there, that's all full of small packages. Got to be shipped. And <coughs> <coughs> did I mention I can't find potato bear pattern? That's really, really got me annoyed. I have looked in the house because I typically cut stuff like that out in the house. And because it hurts my back to stand at the cutting table for hours and it, and it takes a long time to cut out eight teddy bears or six teddy bears or whatever and I usually like to but I don't, I don't know what I've done with it I put it up to where I wouldn't lose it and I've lost it so I don't know I really don't want to think about it but I have to work no matter how I feel doesn't matter how bad you feel when you work when you Work for yourself. You work harder than you. If you work for yourself, you work harder than anybody else. I don't want to step on anybody's toes by saying that. Please don't be oversensitive by me saying that. But truly, a self-employed person never takes any time off. They work no matter how they feel. If I have to limp in the morning, limp to come out here to work, I'll just have to limp to come out here to work because I've got I, I got to get my orders done. But anyway, that's what's going on here today. And if I didn't feel so bad, it would help. But I do. I feel terrible. I feel awful. And uh, I don't know if I, I... I don't hardly ever, ever, ever have a fever. But I feel like I have a fever. My joints are just aching. My fingers hurt. My elbows hurt. My shoulders hurt. My toe bones hurt. Everything I got is hurting. After I go to the post office, I might lay down for a little while. That's what I'll do. I'll go to the post office, come back, and lay down, and maybe I'll feel maybe I'll feel like a new woman when I wake up. Hope everybody's having a great Tuesday. My husband went back to work this morning. He's in old Tuscaloosa. He's in T-Town, Alabama. And um, taking care of those veterans today, taking them to their doctor's appointments and to their uh, cancer appointments and to their dialysis and wherever they need to be. And um, he uh, got this shirt, uh, it's a pullover thing. His company had these made for their 20th anniversary. They've been going for 20 years. And uh, fortunately for me, it didn't fit him. It says Kay Wallace on there, but I don't care who, I don't, I don't care about that. But it's mined, and it is was great for the rainy weather today. I didn't get near as wet and then I would have I would have if I had not had, had it on. So his lost my game. They don't not hire me to do the embroidery. One of the one of the supervisors at the company, I don't know, manager, supervisor, whatever it is, he bought his twelve year old daughter a seven thousand dollar embroidery machine and she does the embroidery right right really I can see that she might have she might have played with it for five minutes but I guarantee you she didn't hold up to do a whole lot with it but anyway everybody have a great day it's uh I'm getting my Christmas orders done as fast as I can and um, I got a big old pile of quilts that have been quilted they need to put. I need to have to put the binding around them, and get those people get those picked up. I think everything that gets shipped, except for two quilts, I'm waiting on checking the mail for those. I think everything has been the binding has been put on it. it well, no, 
There's three over there that needs binding put on and shipped out. But I'll get those done in the next day or two. Wish I could find my teddy bear pattern. I don't know. I have no idea what I did with it. I, I laid it last night on my couch and I was thinking, if I was a teddy bear pattern, where would I be? And I thought, and I thought, and I, and I still don't know where it is. Sometimes when you lose something, the best thing to do is start cleaning. And you're like, ta-da, there it is. But anyway, maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll clean up around here a little bit. And it'll just magically appear. But that's my problem. Thank y'all. Y'all have a great day. Bye-bye.